Okay, it's an unboxing of the Russian campaign. Um, I got this game uh, from Enterprise Games. Um, bought it. He's got a good source for used games. This is not a paid advertisement. I just really like what he does. Um, just a one guy placed selling some used games. He does a really good job. So, the Russian campaign. I've just been tempted to play this. I've been slowly moving into... I just really wanted to play more of the campaign. I hear good things about this. I owned it at one point, and now I own it again. So that's a not a very wise way to do investments. Let's take a look at the box. So here we are in the inside of the box. So I did buy it used, so it's punched. But there are some that still aren't punched, so that's kind of cool. Not very many. So there's the German. There are the Russians. A little faded, a little wear, wear and tear on it, but not too bad. I'm sure I'll clip those, but they're so small. It's amazing to me how tiny these are. We've got the German OB chart. And it's one-sided, thicker cardstock. Russian OB chart. Again, a little thicker. I don't know what these are in here for. Keep the maps together, maybe? I don't know. There's like little, little clippy things. I don't know. I don't think those came with the game. These are the third edition rules. Um, I thought I was getting a second edition, so that's cool. It's cool to get the third. It's amazing to me. I've, I've printed these out. I found an online copy of them, but they're so short. So that's uh, five. A little bit of junk on there. So six pages of rules. Come on. I just saw there's a new one out, a uh, new game, Russian campaign book, and it's 24 pages of rules. Now I think, you know, there's way more pictures, a bigger print, maybe just two column. Then there's the scenarios, um, the appendix, and then it came with this what if, you know, those little scenarios, campaign variants, so that's kind of cool. Um, there are starting scenarios and scenario... Um, so, sorry here. Looks like they have a variety of scenarios. Stalingrad, Caucasus. Now that would be interesting to play the Caucasus um, and see that compared to that the Caucasus campaign I played. Uh, uh, I could play by mail. Did you see that? So there's my optional flow chart for distractions and different kinds of things for the variants. The train effects chart. So fortunately I've printed this out. So I won't even need to use the book for that. I'll use my other copies for that. So there's that. Let's take a look at the board. Uh, I could do a friend a favor and uh, send them a, a catalog of games um, and do a little uh, survey of the game. Probably, you know, not there anymore. I like this, like, uh, leather snakeskin look that they had. So there's part of the board. Finland, Poland. And so there's the whole board in two pieces. It's, uh, you know, mounted. I remember when I first got back into it and games weren't mounted, I thought, oh, man, what a bummer they're not mounted. Now I think it's probably good their games aren't mounted anymore. I don't know why. But So there's the map. So it goes. It's kind of interesting, the orientation. It just looks weird. Um, because, you know, here's here's Hungary, Romania, Poland. We're used to seeing the map, you know, like this direction. Um, uh, Leningrad, uh, Moscow, uh, Rostov, Stalingrad. So then here's the Caucasus that I just played in. So this is the area I just had that one game in for many turns. You can see my um, gameplay over there. All right, so there's that. Um, I hope to do some uh, game video at some point. That's the Russian Campaign 3rd Edition.